All right, so I was scrolling down YouTube and I seen Dragon's Dogma 2 has a toxic community. I don't see it that way. I think a lot of people are upset that some of the mechanics from Dragon's Dogma 1 are gone. You know, I done made a video about that. Go back and watch it. But uh, I also think that a lot of people are comparing the base game Dragon's Dogma 2 to Dragon's Dogma 1 DLC, which is Bitter Black. And that's not how you do it. You have to compare this to Grand Soren. And you cannot sit up here and lie and say that this is not better than Grand Soren. Because it is. You about to see me finish off this golem. As soon as I finish off the golem, a minotaur literally pulls up out of nowhere. Then, now you just seen that griffin too. This will not happen in Grand Sorn. Now, in Bitter Black, some stuff like this can happen. <laughs> but not in Grand Sorn. So, you know, if stuff like this is happening in the base game of Dragon's Dogma 2, just imagine what would happen if we actually got a DLC for this. Stop comparing this base game to Dragon's Dogma 1 Bitter Black. That's where you making a huge mistake. That's one reason you could be upsetting yourself for not thinking things through. But for the people who are upset about some of the mechanics being gone, that's understandable, man. But also, they could add them back in the DLC. Just give it time. Now, we have to remember that this is the internet, man. There are trolls everywhere, right? It's probably people who have never played the first Dragon's Dogma, nor the second one, that is calling this a bad game just because. The only thing I got to say to the trolls is, man, you will have a better time if you go over there to Elden Ring community. Listen, let me let me tell you something. A lot of people that play Elden Ring do not even know the basic mechanics of the game. So you will have a better time arguing with them because they don't know what the hell they talking about and you don't know what the hell you talking about. Just go over there to Elden Ring. I promise you, you will not regret it. That community is toxic as hell. It don't get more toxic than Elden Ring. Now that that's out the way, let's talk about hard mode. Because I'm still seeing people talking about, man, I want a hard mode, this, this, this. I've already covered this on this channel. Go to my channel. Go to my Dragon's Dogma 2 playlist. You will find that video. The only thing hard mode will add is making enemies harder to stagger. Making you use more stamina when you do skills. You're going to get more gold. That, that's pretty much it. It may be a few more things, but that's pretty much it. Hard mode is not going to change anything. On that video... I went back to Dragon's Dogma 1, put it on hard mode. My gear was maxed out. The puns gear was in the puns. Listen to this. I picked up some level 5 puns in hard mode in Grand Soren. And a level 5 pun with maxed out gear. When I say maxed out gear, in the first game, you can get the gold forged once you got done with Bitter Black. So those puns were completely maxed out and they killed a chimera within what five seconds? Go watch the video. Hard mode is not gonna make a difference. What we need is more enemies and more enemy variety. That's what we need. That's what made Bitter Black so good. Bitter Black, there was, there was nothing different about the enemies in Bitter Black. 
And you can't say that there were. What you gonna say? Well, Elder Ogre was different from Ogre. No, she wouldn't. Elder Ogre had the exact same moveset as a regular Ogre. It's just she was a little bigger. That's it. But what made Bitter Black so crazy was the fact that three Elder Ogres could spawn on you at once. I got um a live stream playthrough where I played through the first Dragon's Dogma before this one came out. And I know for a fact there is a spot in Bitter Black where three Gorm will spawn at the same time. That's what made Bitter Black so good was the chaos. And this brings me to solo on the game. Now, if you have not soloed the game, I see no reason for you to be asking for a hard mode at all. You haven't even got the solo experience yet. You don't know how it feels to be on your own. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, this game ain't meant to be soloed and this, this, this. I got over a thousand hours in the first Dragon's Dog. And soloing is very important. You learn that when you get to Bitter Black. So when you get to Bitter Black, there's an enemy called Death, who will one-shot everything. His defenses are through the roof. You're not going to be able to kill him your first run. So Death take his lantern, put everything to sleep. If anything is around him, you, your puns, enemies around him, everybody's going to sleep. And then he one shots everything with his sight. I want you to imagine being a little deeper in the bit of black, right? Where you don't have the rift crystals to repair rift stones. Because it's not cheap to repair them rift stones. You probably not going to have the rift crystals to do it. So imagine being deep into bit of black and Delph decides, hey, you know what? I'm going to spawn while he fighting that ogre, that elder ogre. And then, while all your puns are focused on Elder Ogre, he just floats over there, put everything to sleep with that lantern. You was the only one made it out. And he one-shots the Elder Ogre, one-shots all three of your puns. Now you by yourself. What do you do? You don't have the roof crystals to repair the roof stone to bring your puns back. That's why I say soloing is so important. Knowing what you are doing, knowing enemy moveset, knowing enemy spawns, knowing how to deal with multiple enemies on your own. That's what I love about Dragon's Dogma is because it's not hard mode that makes it hard. It's the amount of enemies that could spawn on top of you. The amount of elite enemies that could spawn on top of you. Not just some some random hobgoblins or wolves. No. Three Gorm can spawn on top of you in Bitter Black. You could walk into a room and see two Gore sock clumps. With harpies flying around and uh regular other regular enemies. You know, it's, man, I love playing bitter black and i know if they make a dlc for this one it's gonna be better than bitter black because this was better than grand Sorn. you done seen the, the video man i done fought a golem then the minotaur came now I'm fighting a griffin that would not happen in grand Sorn. it won't Bitter Black, yeah, <laughs> but not in Grand Sworn. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I think Bitter Black be a little worse. I could, I could imagine something like Bitter Black being in, in this game. and I've probably been fighting two golems. Two Minotaurs probably would have came and a griffin and a dragon. <laughs> that's what I think the DLC gonna be like in this game. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I'm thinking, man. But only, only time going to tell, man. We just got to be patient. Have faith. Do not lose faith in this game at all. But with that, 
y'all know what come next like and subscribe if you ain't comment down below if you don't i'll see y'all later